My name is Brooke Axtell, and I'm a survivor of child sex trafficking and domestic violence. When I was seven years old, my mom was hospitalized. During that time, I was entrusted to a nanny, and he sexually assaulted me. He forced me into child pornography and sold me to other men for sex. I was subjected to the most sadistic forms of abuse. And during that time, my one desire was for somebody to come and save me. The aftermath of sexual assault and child sex trafficking reverberated throughout my life. I struggled for many years feeling that it would be better if I didn't exist, that I was completely without value. I I wanted to die. There's still a misconception that sex trafficking and particularly the trafficking of children only happens in developing nations, that this is not a problem that impacts us in North America. But the truth is, every day children are being trafficked in our cities. Children are being exploited for profit. And we are at a turning point where we desperately need others to awaken, to offer their voices, their gifts, to bring an end to this injustice. When we bring everything into the light, the darkness no longer has power. I now have the tremendous privilege of mentoring women and girls who are survivors of sex trafficking. And I am in awe of their beauty, their creativity, their wisdom, and their courage. Those who overcome violence and trauma of all kinds are alchemists. We transform pain into power, transmute suffering into wisdom. We take the raw materials of what we're given and we become the artists of our own lives. I am so grateful that I have the life that I have now, that I chose to endure, that I chose to embrace my voice and speak my truth when it was most difficult. I am grateful that young women allow me to be a part of their lives and allow me to remind them that there is hope on the other side and that they're worth fighting for.